Hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? Now I'm going to bring on a very special presenter that's going to teach you how she went from zero to 200K with TikTok Live. I want to welcome Amy Hires. What's going on, Amy? Hello, good morning. How's everybody? I'm, I'm so excited to have you, Amy, because like I said, I've been watching you for a while. I will pop on your lives and I'm just impressed by what you're doing with the TikTok Live. So yeah, so I'm excited about this, Amy. We can go right into the training. Amy, I'll let you take over. I will okay. be here if you need anything, but I'll let you okay. take over and we'll get started. How I made multiple six figures going live. Can y'all see that with my name, Amy Hires? And there over on the right is my Make Money with Amy Online is my main TikTok account. Also on Facebook and Instagram, but we'll get back to that later. So yes. So my name is Amy Hires. This is my husband, Rodney. I know some of y'all might know Rodney. He is Side Hustle's Hot Rod. He started this business about six months after I did. And uh, he is so excited about this business. I have to make him shut up. <laughs> you know, at night we're trying to go to sleep and he is just yapping about this. He wants me to see his videos. And I'm joking when I say I want him to shut up. It's just, he's so excited. We have a hard time sleeping. Such a blessing to be able to do this with my spouse. And then that's my son, Michael, and he's a senior in high school this year. He's the reason I started in direct sales years and years ago, because I wanted to be able to be home with my children. And y'all see my mom and dad up here. My mom and dad kind of, they just kind of had a thing. We want we want y'all to have reliable cars before you go off to school. So I kind of grew up with that. So these are the people that I love most in the world. This is why I do this business. And I'm sure y'all got your why too. All right. So let me just tell you how I got started. I was new on TikTok. I didn't have any followers or any videos. I decided when I started this business that I was going to pick 20 companies. That's what I really wanted to do. Cause I didn't know enough about all this to know what I was talking about. So I said, I'm going to pick 20 companies and I'm going to get affiliate links for them. And I said, I'm going to start with the first one I ever heard of was legendary marketer at the time. So I said, like, I'm going to pick them. And then I realized that I didn't know what I was saying, that I needed to just start with one and get going. So I was a guest on the wake up legendary show and Matt gave the orders on November 8th. He told me get to a thousand followers and go live. And because I was on the wake up legendary show, I got to a thousand followers and I went live. Those of y'all who are stretching for a thousand followers, I want to give y'all a tip that one of my um, people that I'm working with told me the other day, and it really was like, what? He said he just goes not to other affiliates pages, but he goes to other TikTok accounts that, you know, he just thinks they're interesting, whatever they're talking about, and he follows them. He's gotten over 550 followers in about a week and a half just because he follows strangers. They turn around and follow him too. So if you're like, man, I'm so trying to build to a thousand followers, I just want to give that tip because that's not something I had really thought of. Go follow a bunch of people and a lot of them, maybe not all of them, but a lot of them will follow you back. So that's a tip just to get to a thousand followers because I know that we can't put a link in there until we do that. We can't go live till we do that. So I'm not the expert, y'all. I don't have all the answers. There's still so much I have to learn. One thing I want to advise y'all to do is anytime you have questions or anything like that, reach up to someone who is where you want to be. Like only take advice from someone you would trade places with because your best thinking has gotten you where you are right now, just like it has me, okay? So you've got to listen to people who are where you wanna go. So that's why when Matt said go live, I was like, yes, sir, I will. You know, I listen to my friends in my book, they're above me. I'm gonna listen to what they're saying. I'm gonna take advice from them. So make sure you're taking advice from people. And it doesn't necessarily mean call them, text them, whatever, but just listen. Listen to them, watch what they're doing, okay? So anyway, back to if you're saying you're trying, it means you're doing what's convenient and what feels comfortable. A lot of times people who start things like this say, well, I'm, I'm gonna try to do this. I'm gonna try to start Thursday. Like take that word out and say, I'm gonna commit to doing what I have to do as long as I have to do it. Commitment is not convenient. It just means you're going to do what you have to do and you're willing to do that. So it's time to get uncomfortable. And I say this all the time, ask yourself, what line are you standing behind? And what do I mean by that? The line that you're standing behind is the line that stands between you and the future you want. So if your line is, well, I'm not going to do videos. I'm not going to be seen in a video. I'm just not going to do it. Just not going to do it. There's the line you're standing behind. Or I'm not going to do live streams. Or I'm not ever going to talk in a video. Or I am not going to ever do this, that, and other. That might be the line you're standing behind. And that might be the exact thing that if you would do, could change everything. So anyway, figure out the line that you're standing behind. And ask yourself, if I were to change that thing, what might be different? 
I took a poll of 25 affiliates and I asked them, what's the line you're standing behind? What's the thing you're hesitant to do, but you think would make the most difference in growing your business? And of the 25 people I talked to, the number one answer was they said, if I go live, I know that things would change. Now, I don't know if that's your answer and it doesn't, this is not the only way y'all. I'm just here to talk about one way. This is just the way that has worked for me. So sometimes it's not that we don't know what to do. It's that we don't do what we know because it's like, oh crap, you know, I think I heard one time that public speaking is like the biggest fear of all people on the planet. <laughs> I totally get that. And this is what I knew right here. There's only one way to get what you want. And if you're on my live streams, you say me, see me say this all the time. The only thing that will change your life, change your business, change your money, change your relationship is you must raise your standards. When you're no longer willing to tolerate something, that's when your life changes. So if you're like, mm, I'm so sick of my job, I'm sick of my income, I'm tired of blank, whatever it is, I'm tired of being overweight, I'm tired of you know this relationship being the way it is. When you're no longer willing to tolerate something and you say, I can change it and I will change it. I must, I can, I will, I must. That's when it will change. And so that's kind of what I said about doing a live stream. You have to change your story about this whole idea. And remember, like I've said already, if you're like absolutely opposed to live streams, you don't have to do it. Lots of people do have a lot of success without doing it. But I'm gonna tell you reasons why I think it's something you should really consider. If a live stream is something you consider doing, what are some stories you say about going live? There's a lot of things we say to ourselves and what you think about is what you bring about. But I want y'all to think about this. Most of the time to get someone to buy a product or a service that we are promoting, especially if it's a high ticket one, it requires a human conversation. Do y'all agree with that or not? It requires follow-up and relationship building. People are not just gonna throw their money at somebody they don't know, like, or trust, right? So that's why you have to get some human conversation going with people. It's all about getting people to know, like, and trust you. And people need that because it's just, there's so many scammers out there. So you've gotta be willing to give some free value before you ask for their money. And y'all know what I mean when I say ask. We're not literally getting in there and saying, hey, would you buy this? We're not literally doing that. But what we're doing is we are recommending a product or a service and we're saying the company's going to ask for the money. They're not paying us. So I like that part a lot. You've got to be willing to give some free value. And the conversation is 99% of the time necessary. If you want somebody to be sold on whatever it is you're presenting or you're promoting, there's going to be some kind of conversation. They're going to have questions. They're going to want to hear from you, right? Otherwise, you're going to get people saying, is this real? Is this a scam? I mean, I still get people, but you've got to have conversations with people so that they can, you know, know, like, and trust you. So you have to change your story. What are some stories you say about going live? If you feel stuck, it's because of the story you're telling yourself. You get what you look for. So quit repeating stupid stories. And here's an example of a stupid story. I hadn't made any money yet, so no one's going to listen to me and I'll sound like an idiot. I probably won't have anyone join me on my live stream and I'll feel like an idiot. What if people are mean? It will hurt my feelings and I'll feel like an idiot. I don't wanna talk about it. I don't, I don't know what to talk about, so I'll probably sound like an idiot. See the key word here is idiot. I'm shy, I'm not comfortable on camera, and I'll sound like an idiot. I look like a dork, which means I look like an idiot, and I actually am an idiot. These are all like, I'm being kind of goofy here, but these are all kinds of things that we say to ourselves, right? Maybe you don't use the word idiot, like you could use dork, but like, just look at the things, think about the things that you say to yourself, because you get what you focus on. If you think you're an idiot, you're gonna be one. If you think, I can do this, then you can. So when you say what you fear or don't want, your brain has to picture it. So you must start focusing on what you do want. Let go of all the thoughts of what you're afraid of, you know, what you're worried about, how uncomfortable or awkward you're gonna feel when people ask you questions, you don't know the answers to them. Stop that. You've got to remember your brain is picturing whatever you're focused on. So focus only on what you do want. Okay, that's a really important piece. So when you do have somebody who comments on your video or they comment on a live stream or they email you or they send you a direct message, this is like sales statistics, y'all. This is people out there. And this is just from my direct sales background. When you have a prospect, so that's somebody who comments, 48% of people never follow up with a prospect. 25% of people make a second contact and stop. So this is talking about like, if somebody comments on one of your videos, do you answer? 
Do you say anything? If they send you a direct message or an email, do you respond? 48% of people don't. 25% of people make a second contact and stop. 12% of people only make three contacts and stop. And only 10% of people make more than three contacts. So these are sales statistics, okay? 2% of sales are made on the first contact, 3% are on the second, 5% on the third, and 10% on the fourth. But look at this, 80% of sales are made on the 5th to 12th contact. So what am I saying here? 80% are made on the 5th to 12th contact. The ones who contact people 5 to 12 times make up 80% of the sales. So how do you do that? If we're not going to get in direct messages and talk to people, if we're not going to email, you know, we are putting people in email autoresponders, right? So they're getting that message from us. But a lot of times people hop in my live streams and say, oh, I've been watching you for six months. And that's a contact that they need. So what's one way you can do this contacting people without like literally having to message people all the time? How can you achieve all this? Live stream. This is one way. So everything you want, and if you're like, I'm, I'm really not comfortable with that. Well, everything you want is outside of your comfort zone. If it was inside your comfort zone, the one you're living in right now you'd already have what you want I want you to really think about that everything you want that you don't have is outside your comfort zone meaning when people tell me oh I've started this and I'm nervous I'm like good that means you're on the right track you are outside your comfort zone and that's the only way to get what you want all right so when you're not ready to do a live stream that's when you're ready make a decision to do something uncomfortable every day don't worry about perfection it doesn't exist and stop calling it failure when things don't go like you think they should, like when there's two people in your live stream or you get two people, you know, viewing your video, don't call that failure, call it learning. Now you know what to do differently the next time. If we make something too complicated, we just won't do it. How are you making what's out your comfort zone? And we're talking about live streams, complicated. Some say when you're making videos, just hit post, like stop stressing over what the video looks like. Just hit post. You never know when the video you didn't spend any time at or weren't finished with is gonna just blow up so i say just hit live like just hit the live stream button just hit it so my reasons for doing live stream are so that people can know me and because they do work so now i'm going to give y'all a little bit of tips about the actual live stream process itself and this was my first thought when i first started doing this I was like oh crap matt said you should do a live and i was like oh crap and then I got kind of excited thinking about it. And then I got worried thinking about, oh crap, you know, back to the oh crap part. Like, what are people going to say? You know, what if they call me a old grandma or something like that? What am I going to do? And I was just kind of worried. What if I don't know the answers to their questions? And then I felt like puking because I'm like, Ugh. I just, you know, I'm putting myself out there in front of these people that I don't know. What are they going to say? And then I was just like, well, I'm just going to do it. So all those emotions that we go through, we all go through them, okay? So here's some tips, and I know you might be like, well, duh, but I really want y'all to think about these because listen, y'all, these are things that I have not done before. <laughs> That's how you learn, right? So have your phone charged. You don't want to be in the middle of a live stream and your phone dies and you're like, well, crap. Have a charger handy. Have good lighting. Y'all, good lighting does make a big difference. You need a good microphone. My microphone is simply the one on my iPhone. Have all your props ready. When I say props, I use my iPad. I show people things on it. Lately, I've been, you know, using some magazine articles that I show. So have whatever props you're going to have, have them ready. And know your live stream buttons. Like get on your phone and know which one is the live button, which one flips your screen, which one will mirror your screen. You know, there's a button that you can push that'll make it sound like people are clapping, one that sounds like people are cheering. All of these things are there. And if you're not familiar with that, then get on there. So listen to this right here. You can have everything in life that you want if you help enough other people get what they want. What does that mean right there? Anybody know what MMFI stands for? It stands for make me feel important. So the tips I'm about to give you about the people on your live stream, this is what everybody is secretly thinking and saying. Make me feel important. So I'm going to tell you how I work to do that. All right, so don't fall in love with the product or the service you're promoting. Fall in love with the people and pointing them where they can get results. Because y'all remember, as digital marketers, we are helping people solve a problem. It might be a wealth problem, a health problem, relationship problem, pet problem, 
something. People need help. People are looking for answers. That's what we're doing. We're providing answers for them. We're helping somebody with an issue and we're going to get to know them. So here's what I do. Every person, as they pop in for the first one to three minutes of my live stream, I'm saying, hey, I'm glad you're here. Work to get to know them. I, when I first started this, I had a notebook and I would write down people's names because sometimes their TikTok name was like, mama loves cooking. And I was like, who is that? So I'd have to write down, mama loves cooking is Janet. I was like, okay, I'm gonna try to remember that. And as I went by, you know, mama loves cooking, I'd remember, okay, that's Janet. So I was trying, I was like, hey, Janet, I'm gonna try to remember that your mama loves cooking you know, or something like that, but try to get to know them. And I have a pen, you know, I used to use a fuzzy pen. I don't know if y'all can see my pen. Anyway, I would just let people see me. And I didn't really know people were paying attention to this, but they saw me writing down their name. I still have the notebook I used to write in. They saw me using my little fuzzy pen. They saw that I was trying to get to know them. Okay. So anyway, this is your first opportunity to get to know them, work to get the pronunciation right. Call them by their name every time they pop in. Call them by their name when they reply to comments or DMs. This is what I was about to say, that I've heard that a person's name is like the most precious sound to people's ears. I don't know if that's really true, but I have heard that. Recognize them for something. Sometimes there will be other people I know that are in this business that'll hop in there. And if I know that they had their first you know, commission come in, or if I know that she just had a baby, or if I know something, I will say, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for you. How's the new baby? Just something. Let people know that you are thinking about them. And this is not all about what can I get out of them? Like this, is, these are people. They're just like you. They had an issue and you want to make them feel important. Be pleasant and upbeat. Y'all, sometimes I really do. I see some people on live streams and they act like they just got out of bed and they took a Benadryl last night. Be sold on what you're promoting. Pretend to feel confident until you finally are. Like everybody's a little bit nervous. Just pretend to be confident until you are. Have an introduction. Tell a minute of how you got there and tell what this is not. Okay, what is this not? Well, we're doing digital marketing, right? And so I like to tell about what this is not. Don't look at myself when I'm doing a live. Like look into the camera eye. Instead of looking at your picture on the screen, like, oh, how's my hair? You know, look into the camera eye because you don't want it to be about you. You want it to be about them, okay? So here is some things that this is not. And I do tell people this. This is not a get rich quick scheme. This is not a pyramid. It's not an MLM. This is not sales. It's marketing. I mean, yeah, a sales gonna happen, but y'all, to me, sales was what I was in before when I had a shelf full of stuff behind me and people would say they wanted this and I'd ship it to them or they'd come pick it up or whatever. That's not what this is. I don't have anything to sell. I'm recommending a company that's got something to sell. This is not easy. This is work, y'all. This is working. When we say that this is easy, that implies that there's little to no effort required. And that is just baloney. Okay, we know this takes work, right? And it's not hard. At the same time, it's not hard. It's not brain surgery. We're not like putting somebody back together or anything like that. So I tell people what this is not. And I think that that kind of relieves people's minds. So get them involved in your live stream. You want to kind of keep them engaged. Isn't that what we're all after? We were after the engagement. How many of you wish you had blank? I don't know. I mean, we're going to pretend that everybody here is talking about promoting something about making money online. That's just what I am always talking about. But whatever it is, if you're promoting a weight loss product, you can say, how many of you wish you had a way to lose? You're wanting people to get involved. So you can say to them, like, if you're needing to lose weight, say heck yeah in the chat. Okay. Get them talking. If y'all agree that intelligent people get facts before they make decisions, say yes. This is marketing, not sales. This is not selling. If that's music to your ears, say amen. I want them writing in the chat. If you consider a five figure income every month to be a chunk of money, write chunk. And I tell them that because I'm like, that was the first thing that I thought when I saw the girl talking about this business. I was like, dang, she made a chunk. So I just used the word, I'm like, just write chunk if you think that's a chunk. But you're getting them involved. Show them that you're on their side. Make them aware of scammers. Tell them how to spot them. Tell them what you don't talk about and tell them about WhatsApp. Now, listen, I know not everybody who uses WhatsApp is, is a scammer. I know that. But for the most part, everybody I see on TikTok, they are. <laughs> okay. I want to show people how to spot impersonators, fake accounts, people who take our pictures, pretend to be us and say, hey, I got some crypto advice for you. I got some uh, Bitcoin advice for you. Like, that's not me. And we want them to know that we are on their side. We want to protect them from scammers. Okay. Be vulnerable, relatable. If you had debt, tell it. That was hard for me, y'all. I'm private. I'm a private person. I, I talk to my friends and I'll tell them just about anything, but I don't tell the world. 
and I had credit card debt and I was embarrassed by it. I did not have a savings account like I needed to at my age and I was embarrassed about it. I'm not the only one out there, right? We are helping people solve a problem. I'm so glad I went through all the mess that I went through in my life with debt and picking the wrong business for so long and all the other stuff that I've gone through. Thank God I've been through all that. Y'all, if life had been perfect, I would not be able to relate to anybody and nobody would be able to relate to me. Smooth sailing never made a skillful sailor. And think about that. When the water's calm, you don't get good. It's only when the water's rough that you get really good. So be glad for the hardships. And somebody said, what if you've got debt right now? You know what? You're always in the process of getting better. I'm in the process of getting out of debt. I'm in the process of making $5,000 a month or whatever it is. Just like be in the process of why this isn't a scam. Let me tell y'all how this is not a scam. And I'll tell them, you know, this company is this. And I'll, I'll give some things that back up the company that I'm promoting, okay? I will say how this is not a pyramid or an MLM. Lots of times people hop on my live streams and say, this is a pyramid. And I'll say, what's a pyramid? And then they disappear. <laughs> like y'all do that, try that. This is a scam. Okay, okay what's the scam? And they disappear. This is an MLM. Okay, what's an MLM? You mean you don't know what an MLM is? That's what they'll say to me. Like, oh, I know what one is, but you tell me what it is. Because I want to make sure everybody's on the same page. Half the time, they'll disappear. But if they don't, I'm going to tell them that this is not a pyramid. This is not an MLM. We're not doing any kind of recruiting here. There's no upline. There's no downline. So I am, like, wiping that out before a lot of people ever say it. It's not sales in the fact that we're not contacting friends and family, or at least I'm not, y'all. Y'all might be. I'm not. I'm not getting inside all my friends and family on Facebook and saying, hey, you ought to do this. You ought to do this. I'm calling to see if you know that I'm doing this because I think you ought to do this. I don't personally do that. There's nothing wrong with it if you want to do that. But that's not what I'm doing. If you're looking for fast, easy money, this isn't it. I tell people that. This is not get rich quick, honey. I mean, this is going to require effort and consistent. And I tell them if you see anything about extra education or upsells, you know, other things that you can get to help you, they are optional. They're like food on a menu. It's like the checkout line at the grocery store. There's going to be M&Ms there. If you want them, get them. If you don't want them, don't get them. Okay? It's just plain and simple. Expenses are low in this business. Many are optional. I mean, oh my gosh, y'all. In my direct sales business, I used to spend $1,000 to $1,200 a month on expenses. And I spend half of that on this now. Okay? So just let people know this is a very, very low cost business. Topics to discuss in your live stream. If you haven't made much money, tell stories of people who have. A friend of mine, I won't say her name again because I've already said her twice, <laughs> but she was somebody that I looked up to before I even knew who she was because I watched her making videos and she was just somebody, I, she had made $50,000 at the time. And I was like, oh my gosh, life changing. So I told her story and I said, you know, there's a girl that did this. There's a guy that is doing this and I know him and I see that I see the evidence that this is real. I see what they're actually doing. I know this is real. And I just told those stories until I had my own because I wasn't going to say that I'd made $10,000 if I hadn't. So I would say I'm working on my first 10,000. You know, I'm in the process of talk about examples. These are other things to talk about examples of companies to promote. I show the Bass Pro Shop uh, website a lot because I don't know why it's just they've just got this little really plain simple example of what an affiliate program is and I always share that one tell them how to find a niche and remember if you tell your story enough times you can't help but make good that's in quotes because it comes from that book right there how I raised myself from failure to success in selling it's a great book it's old it was like written in the 1940s or something I've read it 600 times probably and I don't know why it just struck me because it was just so I don't know it just hit me but that was one thing that he said turned his failure in insurance sales is what he's in into success because he realized that if he would just tell his story enough times he couldn't help but have success and that's true for y'all too so be sold on you why you instead of someone else why are you working with why does somebody want to believe in you why should somebody believe you and trust you just remember that to make more money for you to make more money you've got to add more value you've got to find a better way to meet someone's needs so fall in love with the person and make them want to do business with you i love it when people say i feel like you're really trustworthy I feel like you're honest. You know, I tell people I give out my phone number. Y'all don't have to do, y'all don't have to do that. I don't have to give out your phone number, but I do that. If you have a Facebook debate page, tell them. If you've been trained by somebody like Jonathan or any other, you know, CEO or whatever, tell them like, hey, I've got an expert that has trained me and got in my head. I've taken the training myself. I've spent hundreds of hours. Like tell people why they should trust you. Be enthusiastic 
It means I am sold myself. Look at the last four letters of that word. I am sold myself. It doesn't mean you have to be an extrovert, y'all. I am an introvert all day long. I could sit with a book, and when I finish that one, give me another one. That's what I love, love, love to do. But you can be an extroverted introvert too. Like when you're working with other people or when you're talking to other people, just, just be excited. Or introverts and extroverts get their energy from different places. Introverts get their energy from being alone. Extroverts get their energy from being with a bunch of people. I get my energy from being alone, but I do love to be with people. And when I am with people, I'm enthusiastic. So just kind of start making a habit. That book that I was just talking about, he also talked about that in that book right there about how enthusiasm changed his life. Take it away from them. This is just kind of like a psychology kind of trick, but we're not there to sell. We are there to share information. And I say to people sometimes, if what I'm saying doesn't feel right to you, then just don't do it. This may not be for you. I don't know. You don't know either until you get educated about it. Intelligent people get the facts. These are just things that I say. If what I'm saying doesn't feel right to y'all, then just don't do it. Tips to manage your state. If you're boring, they're gonna be bored. This is Tony Robbins. And right before he has events, he has one of those little mini trampolines and he jumps up and down to get his blood pumping and to sound enthusiastic. Here's another way, get a stand up desk. You can stand or you can sit. Sometimes my mood's all by itself and it acts possessed, but I kind of make a joke out of it. But you know, sometimes you standing can just add some energy that you don't have when you're sitting. A power pose. This is what people see when you're on a live stream. Unless you're on a big widescreen TV like, like I am right this minute. But like when I'm on my phone doing a live stream, this is pretty much what people see. But here's a power pose. They don't necessarily see you doing that. They just see that. But that pose right there of your hands on your hips, it exudes confidence. It helps you feel more confident. If you need to have a little glass of wine, y'all, to relax, do it. There are gonna be moderators. Sometimes they appoint themselves in your live stream. I don't always have one. Be grateful for them. However, remember you're the one in control of your live stream. What they're most helpful with is when they just help you answer questions that are just coming in too fast, but general questions, y'all. There are certain questions that I wanna answer, okay? I wanna answer the naysayers, the people who are negative. I wanna be polite and pleasant and I'm gonna block them if they're just there to be a jerk, but I don't wanna automatically just block somebody and get defensive if they scream scam. You know, if they're not willing to listen, then I'm gonna block them. But you know, I wanna answer them. This is my opportunity to educate somebody if they're willing. So answer accusations with questions. Like I said, a lot of times when you ask them, what is an MLM? They don't even know and they go away. Be the only one who answers questions about the big things. Remember, this is your business. Like what's the cost of this? And will they work with me on this? I mean, those, those kinds of things that like literally affect the success of your business. You be the one to answer those. You're gonna have cranky people popping into your live streams. And just remember that people who are hurting will hurt other people. Be courageous, especially when people are you know, negative. They usually show up in the beginning because they want some attention and they'll leave if they don't get it. Respond, don't react. React means you get mad because they said something that hurt your feelings. Just respond and move on. Get moderators to let you handle those comments. That's my personal preference. Y'all can decide if you wanna do it yourself. And I say, welcome the opportunity to set the record straight. Ask negative people to explain their accusation. They'll usually take off because they can't. You have every right to feel confident about their claims because you know the truth. If you believe in what you're doing, you have every right to feel confident about whatever they're saying to you because you can hold your head up high. You have picked a good company to promote and you are proud. Be authentic. Be honest, these are some of the things that I hear so very, very much from people. They want to know for sure that what we're saying is truthful. The number one comment I hear is that people are scared of, you know, being lied to and scams. Remind them that you're human too. You're the same. It's no different for you. Tell vulnerable stories, like I said earlier, about your debt and your poor choices. Show a Facebook page or a YouTube page to show some legitimacy. Tell them there's no guarantees of income. Is this easy? No. Be honest. Can I learn all this from the minimum investment? No. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, just be really, really honest. How soon can I make money? Being honest builds trust. If you need money now, this is something I tell people. If you need money now, go get a job first, then come back to this because this is not going to be fast overnight money. Work full-time on your job and part-time on your fortune. That's a quote from Jim Rohn. So then there's visuals. These are just things that I use. I show an iPad. I show my email address. I show sales funnel pages. I make them familiar with what they're going to see. I talk through videos and tell them what to expect. 
I explain any deadlines. I tell them the difference between average and extraordinary. Whatever the cost of the, the thing is probably not a big decision. Like if you're doing a $7 training, a $9 training, it's really not that big of a decision and help them put it into perspective. You spend that much at Chick-fil-A. Common audience questions, like I've already said, be ready for some of these. Is this a pyramid? Is this a scam? How do I start? Do I have to show my face? Do I need an LLC? Be ready to answer these questions. And then have a call to action. Why then? Why you? Why this? Why now? Feel the urgency. I always tell people, feel a sense of urgency because the line you stand behind is the line that stands between you and the future you want. If it's live streams, great. If it's not, it may be something else. You are one decision away from a totally different life. Does making going live make you uncomfortable? Good. The only way to get what you want is to get outside your comfort zone and you can do it. That's it. Yeah. Thank you, Amy. That's, that's amazing. I, so many, so many gold nuggets. Do me a favor, go to her account right now on TikTok and just go thank her. Just let her know you came from this live because this was incredible. So I really, really appreciate you coming in, taking the time and teaching what you know on TikTok lives that, you know, this was amazing. So I'm sure there'll be some questions though. What do you do with awkward silence? <laughs> That's funny. I've always got, well, in the beginning, and my husband said he needs this too. I had like a little notepad with just some bullet points that I will just keep talking. <laughs> I'm going to keep talking and just give maybe stories of people that I know. I will say things about, you know, other niches that you can get into. I'm just, just have some bullet points ready of things to, to fill in the silence. So that's yeah. that one. How do you stay consistent? That's from Facebook user. I think about Instead of like the fear of doing it, I think about the cost of not doing it. You know, like the fear of being in the same place six months from now is much greater to me than the fear of just taking action right now. So it's just really just reframing it. I see people say, I'm scared to do this business. I'm scared to do this. I'm more scared not to. I'm more scared to be in, in the same place because I, I was there for so long. What if you went through everything and you talked so fast that you went in less time than expected? Victoria, are you talking about on your live stream? You're free to make your live streams as long as you want to or short as you want to. You can cut them off anytime you're ready. All right, so Facebook user, when you started your lives, did I tell my audience that I was just starting? Yes, I think that when you start your lives, did you tell your audience you're starting? Yes, I did. I think the more authentic you can be, if you're scared, say you're scared. If you're excited, say you're excited. If you're like on fire with enthusiasm, just be it, be it. Because when you're trying to pretend to be some way you're really not, people can tell. How do you connect with potential people after your videos or lives? I don't. Other people may do this differently, but I don't go after them. I'm not trying to talk them into doing what I'm doing. I'm not trying to sell them. I'm like letting my story do the work, the live stream do the work. If they're gonna do it, they're gonna do it. Those are the people that come back again and again. If they need a little bit more reassurance, they come back again and again. But they're not coming back because I'm going to them and saying, hey, I saw you in my live stream. Please come back tomorrow morning. We're not having to do that. I wanna to add to that, Amy, because that's actually a really big point because you've done a lot of the hard work with your lives. So by the time they're clicking on the link, they're, they're already buyers. You know, someone just creating like a five second TikTok video, they're saving them to the link or, or you is you're going to have way more conversion because they already know, like, and trust you. Right. So you've already done the hard work. Basically they trust you. They know you, they want what you have and they're right. just they're ready to buy. So that's the biggest difference is that conversion of the content. Are there any keywords TikTok doesn't like you saying when you go live? Yeah. Can I say I'm on StreamYard? It's on YouTube. So I don't know, maybe yeah. not. I, I'm not sure what it well, is. I'll just but... tell you one that's pretty generic. TikTok does not like the word followers. I don't know why. When somebody writes a comment on your live stream and they say the word followers, how do I get followers? For some reason, TikTok blocks out that comment. Oh, that's interesting. I know it's really weird. Do you think going live helped build? Absolutely. Sandy Baker, there's no doubt. Absolutely. I believe that I am where I am because of it. Yeah. Live is probably what built what 90% of your business from what I see. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Can you say link in bio? Yeah, you can say that. I've said that before. A link in profile is usually what I say. I believe lives are recorded for whoever just asked that. Yes. Yes. Well, they are recorded for 90 days on TikTok. After 90 days, TikTok bumps them off, but you can download them. 
and some of these blind evergreen means it means good forever it means it's always relevant yeah yeah I'll, t I'll take that question yeah evergreen content so my business guys i build it on youtube so search content when people type in you know how to do affiliate marketing that keyword will always be searched so i can make one video that's gonna last forever so that's the framework of how i built my business is is using that evergreen youtube content so yeah Jeremy says, have you ever had haters report your account and get you suspended? Yes. I'm looking at Tracy Morris's. Do you speak on the same topic on every live? Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. I talk about my story and the pain I had before I found this business. And then I share what I found and how it's helped me. Amy, thank you so much for coming on. I really do appreciate it. Again, go to her TikTok here one more time. It's Make Money with Amy Online. I hope you guys were blowing up her account. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, and too. We'll talk soon. Have a great day. See y'all later. Bye, everybody. God bless.